Here's another example of writing from notes. As you recall, we've taken notes on the um, wheelbarrow story picture. Who, what, where, when, why, and how. We had fuzzy, pushing wheelbarrow, customer's house, people aren't home. Why? Because landscaper, how, uses tools. The notes themselves are chunks of information. They're not done in sentence structure. It is just, we're just taking enough note and information to bring back our ideas to us when we start to write the sentences. Your first or second grader may be able to get a couple of sentences out of this that, uh, that may be all the uh, he or she is capable of doing right now, but there's always a starting point. And for your preschooler, they will probably not be able to write at all, but you can scribe for them. And when you prompt your child to say, well, who's in the picture? And they say fuzzy, you write it down. And perhaps what what's fuzzy doing? You might extend the conversation and your preschooler might say, pushing a wheelbarrow. So you write that down. Whatever's reasonable you, that you ascribe for them. Now you're going to take the notes and turn them into sentence structure. So let me get my board up. <clears throat> this might be something that a, a preschool child could think about and verbalize, but not write well, be, because they just don't know how to make the letters yet. Um, or a first or second grader, a, a lower elementary school child might be able to actually put this, these ideas together. So we're going to go right down the, the list or do it in any order that you want to. We just want to get all six of these ideas in. We want to use as many of the pieces of information that your child thought of to begin with in, and incorporate it into the sentence structure. <clears throat> Fuzzy, the cat, was a landscaper. We know who, and we, we have incorporated landscaper into this too. Perhaps your child doesn't know what a landscaper is. This is a perfect opportunity to add that word to his or her vocabulary. Maybe your child has a family member or perhaps a friend who is a landscaper, so they would know. But um, Perhaps a child has seen a landscaper taking care of a neighbor's yard, perhaps, or a public, the, the grounds of a public building, maybe the, the, the gardens in the parking lot at the mall, but they don't even know that there's an, an actual term for, for that job. So this is, if, if a child doesn't know the, the term, it's your perfect opportunity to let him have that term. Fuzzy the cat was a landscaper. He was pushing his wheelbarrow into his customer's yard. Now we know that he's, it was a customer's house and he's pushing the wheelbarrow. His customers were not at home. That's a when. It doesn't have to be a date on the, on the um, calendar. It doesn't have to be an exact time of day. Generally, that the, cu the customers were not home, that was the time that he went. His customers were not at home, so he could bang his tools together. And now we've used the, the, the tools come in to, to play. So all six of the notes that your child thought about from the picture prompt are now memorialized in, the, in three or four sentences forming a paragraph. It's that easy.